Dr. Andrew Huberman is a neuroscientist who helps humans feel better with his daily protocol. And I wanna put those to the test. So today, I will live a scientifically perfect life, according to Huberman. You can see how you can turn your life around. Number one, wake up at 6 a.m. In a study with over a thousand CEOs, 64% of them claimed that waking up this early not only made them successful, but also happier. And what would you expect? Huberman wakes up at the same time. Now, honestly, I love this tip because my alarm is already at 6 a.m. So as soon as it goes off, we get the day started. <sighs> Number two, I create my morning cocktail. So this is what actually what Huberman calls his morning cocktail. And you do it every morning. So you take a cup of water, you add some pink Himalayan salt, you grab a lemon or a lime, squeeze all of it if you can, and finally mix. Once done, just drink the whole thing. Ah, that never gets easier. I've been doing this for a few months now. But this morning cocktail does three things for you. First, it'll give you your body the hydration it needs after a whole night without water, especially because of the salt. It also gives the gut and stomach acidity, which is necessary for digestion because of the lemon. And third, it activates your metabolism. Number three, you will activate your third eye. Now that your body is primed for the day, you need to prime your mind. And in one of Huberman's podcasts, he suggested that when you meditate, you should do one of two things, either relax or focus. Now, you should choose be between you. So I have a big day of work ahead of me, so I'm gonna choose the focus route. For the focus route, he suggests the third eye meditation technique. You could do slow cadence breathing. Third eye meditation can be very relaxing, and yet it's a focus and refocus practice. To use third eye meditation, you need to start sitting down in an upright position. Then you will place all your concentration on your breath. And don't change the way you inhale or exhale. Just focus on your breathing. In your mind, it'll start to wander. And when it does, bring it back to focusing on your breath. After about 60 seconds of intense focus over your breath, you will want to focus in the area right above your eyebrow. This area is your third eye. And now, similar to what we just did with breathing, you would just want to keep your focus on that singular point. By using the third eye technique, you will activate the pineal gland, giving you a heightened sense of intuition and awareness for the rest of the day. You have now primed your mind and body for the day by waking up at 6 a.m., drinking your morning cocktail, and using the third eye technique for meditation. There is so much more you can do throughout your day to feel even better. So I need you to watch till the end of the day so you can see how it affects me. Keep going. Number four, work out while getting some sunlight. So your next step to having a perfect day is to get sunlight as you work out. Try and get as much natural light as you can in the morning hours, especially the first three hours after waking. If you can work outside, great. Did you catch that? You see a lot of men will just step outside. They'll get a few minutes of sunlight and think that that's enough. But to really get the full benefits and cognitive performance of getting sunlight in the morning, you need to be outside for a minimum of 30 minutes. So to use this time wisely, what Huberman suggests, get your workout while you're outside for those 30 minutes, which is exactly what I did. After finishing my third eye meditation technique, I came outside, got some sunlight, went for a quick jog for 30 minutes. Now your boy's hungry. Back home. Number five, have an optimized breakfast. You see, Huberman's breakfast is composed of three components, food, caffeine, and supplements. See, for food, he suggests to have something that's high in protein with quality fats and complex carbohydrates. To simplify things down for you, you could literally eat the meal that I eat every day, which is just eggs, toast, with some avocado. It takes me like two minutes to put this breakfast together. Now, while having breakfast, he also has some type of caffeine, which he suggests that you have to put off for the first 90 minutes of each day. Science shows that when you do this, you offset that afternoon crash that you get while reaping all the benefits of caffeine. Now, he doesn't recommend you drink regular coffee and instead you drink some sort of tea because it has calming effects, which helps you throughout the day. Number six, I want you to use supplements using the min-max approach, which means I want you to use the minimum amount of supplements that will give you the maximum amount of effort. And take it from me, this is a little bit embarrassing. You're gonna need this tip because you don't wanna end up with a, with a drawer full of supplements like this. All of these do something different, but to boil it all down, I found multiple studies that showed a relationship between, for example, your gut health and your attractiveness, which really comes from only three specific types of supplements. I'm telling you, if you take the supplements I'm about to show you, you're gonna have better skin, better hair, and be more attractive. 
Starting with the first one, it's probiotics, which is a specific type of fiber found in foods. During a study, researchers found that when participants started taking probiotics, they saw a significant increase in the appearance of their skin. The reason is because these probiotic fibers decrease something that's called TEWL. This is what's responsible for skin dryness. For me, I use the Symbiotic Plus formula from Ritual, and what I love about Ritual is that it's streamlined and everything's transparent. And this is one of the only supplements that I've tested and actually have seen and felt the difference. The second vitamin I want you to start taking is some sort of vitamin D3. Now, I take it in multiple forms. However, this is crucial for your muscle development. See, in a specific study, they found that when participants took vitamin D3 alongside their training regimen, they saw a significant increase in muscle fiber growth compared to the group that didn't take vitamin D3. Now, like I told you, you can take D3 in various forms. You can take it just the vitamin itself, but then you end up with a cabinet like this of various vitamins, or you can just take a multivitamin. Again, from Ritual, you can see I'm almost done. I take these every single day, as these not only contain the amount of vitamin D3 that I'm gonna need for the day, but also a long list of other essential nutrients that you need. And what I love about Ritual is that their unique capsule is a slow delay release capsule where it bypasses the acid from your stomach to get to your small intestines. See, your small intestines is where you absorb all your nutrients. So with Ritual, unlike other vitamins, it gets the nutrients where they need to be in your body so you can absorb all that vitamin D3 plus everything else they have. Now, the third supplement, it's not as well known, but it's postbiotics. This is the result of probiotics interacting with prebiotics. What I love about a good postbiotic is that it will offset the inflammation in your gut, which will help you absorb more nutrients. Remember what I told you, once you get to that small intestine, that's where you absorb all the nutrients. Meaning that the more postbiotics you intake daily, the better your small intestines will be at absorbing nutrients, making you feel great. And here's where I really fell in love with Ritual. I was about to go out and buy a bottle of just postbiotics, but I realized that their Symbiotic Plus formulation also had postbiotics. So instead of me having to gather all these different post and prebiotics, I just need my Symbiotic Plus and I'm covered with everything that I need. And this is what Ritual is good at. You essentially just need a good multivitamin and a good post and probiotic and you are covered with everything you need. If you guys want to check out Ritual, they're going to be linked down below with the special discount code. Again, you could go and get all these independently if you'd like to, but if you want to keep it simple, this is the way to go. Seven, finish off with some cold exposure. You see, Huberman will finish off his morning routine with some cold exposure, not only for its cognitive benefits, but also for its benefits on brown fat. Think about the brown fat as like an oil in a candle that allows it to burn hotter and longer. Simply put, the more brown fat you have, the more energy you're gonna have and the better you're gonna feel throughout the day. You need to get uncomfortably cold for 11 minutes a week. So once I finish eating, I'm gonna come in and have my normal shower. But at the end, I'm going to shower for a minute and 30 seconds on cold water. If I do this every day of the week, it will total out to 11 minutes. And the reason I do it this way is because he states, you don't want to do all 11 minutes at once. So don't try and do 11 minutes in one go in an ice bath? Probably not. Number eight, you will work on your most important task. So from there, I come to my favorite work spot and I'm going to start on my most difficult task using Huberman's 90 minute interval routine. But I don't want anyone to try and learn anything for longer than 90 minutes. The way it works is that I just finished working for 90 minutes on my most important task and then followed by a 60 minute break to relax my mind. And those 60 minute breaks, I would get up and walk around just to get the blood pumping so you're not fully sitting down and doing something unproductive. And also, while you work, I suggest you turn your phone off or put it on do not disturb for those 90 minute work sessions so you're in deep work and you don't get distracted by anything. Number eight. Do what you love. See, at this point, I've worked all day. I've taken care of my mind, my body, my health. And it's at this point that you just come back home, relax, and do what you truly enjoy that. For me, it's easy. Spend time with my wife, my kids, or catch up with friends. Number 10, use the right sleep protocol. So for nighttime, Huberman uses all these different protocols. So to keep it very simple for you, I'm going to tell you what he does, what I've done, and what you should be doing as well. First, he makes the very last meal of the day carb heavy. For dinner, I generally will eat pasta or something that includes more starches because starches are known to actually reduce cortisol levels in the body. By reducing my cortisol levels like this, I'm able to get in a more relaxed state and that will improve sleep. So for dinner, I did the same thing and I had a carb heavy meal just like him. Second, he removes as much light as possible. So right around 8 or 9 p.m., I start bringing the lights down. The reason he does this 
is that artificial light reduces the body's ability to produce our sleep hormone because it believes that it's still daylight outside. So I made sure I turned off all my lights, put my phone in a different room, and even put down the blinds to make sure no light was coming into my room. And finally, he uses a variety of supplements. I take bisglycinate and apigenin, and you take them about 30 to 60 minutes before sleep, and most people report having an incredibly improved sleep. These supplements trigger the activation of a neurotransmitter called GABA, which in turn shuts off our forebrain, allowing us to better relax through the night. So I took it 60 minutes before recording this video, right before bed. Now we're going to sleep. All right, so next day, what are my thoughts? Cool routine. I definitely felt good at a lot of points throughout the day. Uh, but for the most part, kind of useless. You know, other than the tips like supplementation, the breakfast, those are good. I do those on my routine daily. But some of the other stuff, while it is scientifically correct, it is impractical for myself. And I'm sure for most of you, like if you're in school, if you work a nine to five, or even if you have your own business, you can't just work for 90 minutes a day and then take 60 minute breaks whenever you want. So while it is optimal, I find it to be a bit impractical to live by all these protocols. So what I would suggest to you, take the best ones out of these. The ones that you can't implement in your day, add them, because I promise you, you will feel better. The ones you can't, don't feel too bad about them because every little improvement you do to your daily routine will make a significant difference.